So what does week two of mind and reality hold for us? Um, good question. Two things. First of all, we're going to carry on thinking about the acquaintance view, and I will introduce you to some alternatives to the acquaintance view. Secondly, we are going to think about the topic of cognitive penetration, the ways in which your cognition can influence your perception or not, the ways in which perhaps your cognition, your, your perception is isolated from your cognition. When we're thinking about alternatives to the acquaintance view, I'm going to be introducing you to the pragmatist ideas about the connection between your thoughts and objects because they provide a nice and relatively straightforward contrast with what I'm calling the acquaintance view. But we're going to do that fast and fairly superficially. The idea isn't to get deeply into pragmatist theories of the nature of thought, but rather just to get a better understanding of what the acquaintance view involves by looking at one of its main competitors. The main work for week two will be thinking about this notion of cognitive penetration. The question, to what extent and how can your cognition influence your perception? Now that's interesting to us in two ways. One is, it's just a question of intrinsic interest. There's been a lot of debate about that recently, and it bears on lots of philosophical issues about the nature of mind. If we want to be thinking seriously about the mind, we better know what are the joints, what are the basic components of mind. And a common idea is that perception is one component, thought is another. But if it turns out that cognitive penetration is just completely rampant, that's to say that cognition it influences perception as much as perception influences thought. Right? If there's no interesting asymmetry there, then that's just a mistaken way of thinking about minds at all. And that will have massive consequences in philosophy for discussions about you know, consciousness, knowledge, it's going to affect epistemology, practically anything you can think of, very interesting. It also has interest for us specifically though. Now the specific thing that it interests us is this. On what I'm calling the acquaintance view, we're assuming that there is a kind of awareness, paradigmatically perceptual awareness of objects, which is more primitive than thought, and which grounds the connection between a thought and an object. On some views about cognitive penetration, that will turn out to be false. So you can see that there's a connection to what we're thinking about in terms of the overall picture of the course, which is organised around the question, what must be the relation between a subject and an object if the, ob if the subject is to think about the object? So here's what's coming this week. We're going to start by thinking about alternatives to the acquaintance view, and then we're going to think about cognitive penetration, that second thing being the main work. I hope you have as much fun with it as I'm going to.